वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ ऑटोमेटा थ्योरी द टॉपिक दैट वी आर लर्निंग टुडे इज कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अ कंटेक्सट फ्री ग्रामर ओके गिवन अ लैंग्वेज आई हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द ग्रामर फॉर इट सो हाउ डू आई गो अड विद दैट सो लेट्स रीड अ क्वेश्चन कंस्ट्रक्ट अ कंटेक्स फ्री ग्रामर फॉर गिवन लैंग्वेज सो कंटेक्स फ्री ग्रामर इज समथिंग विच वी यूज फॉर पी डी ए टाइप ऑफ ऑटोमेटा okay so now uh, language is given as a raised to n b raised to n c raised to n d raised to n where n and f is greater than equal to 1 so let us start solving this first of all we'll write down the strings uh, that are coming uh, accepting by this language so i can say the language accepted by this grammar can be exactly one number of a b c d a coming twice so b also has to come twice because a and b are equal in numbers and c and d should be equal in numbers so here a and b coming once c and d coming twice a and b coming three times c and d coming two times so anything will do so uh, to accept this type of strings now we'll try to generate the context free grammar first of all we we'll write down the rule to accept exactly one number of a b so in this case we can say um i'll take some symbol x i'll say x gives ab okay now to accept the more number of a's and b's making sure a and b are same so here to accept the additional a's and b's in equal length i can say x is equal to a and b okay if a is coming once b is also coming once and this should be repeated as much time as it wants so x will go in between okay so why i have written this rule let me just give you a small explanation for say for example i am checking this rule x is giving a x b okay and in this place of x i will again use the same rule that is x is giving a x b this a i'm writing as a and this b i'm writing as b so now i get the string as here i had one a, one number of a's and b's here i had two number of a's and b's and whenever i want to stop in place of this x i'll use the first rule that is x giving a b so this previous two a and last two b i'm copying i'm getting three number of b's so if it the use of this rule we can recursively use as many number of a's and b's and that's also coming in palindrome kind of a string where um, equal number of a's and b's are maintained where a's should be followed by b because once you read b you should not be reading a here so this is what the explanation that i just wanted to give you for this rule hope you have understood why i have written this type of a rule now let's proceed Now, similarly to accept equal number of C's followed by D's, we use the variable Y. So, very first, I'll use Y giving exactly one occurrence of C D, and to accept the repetitive statements, I will take Y is C followed by D in between Y coming again. So, this way, X and Y both together handles A and B. Okay, sorry, A B and C D. Now, I have done with the main part of my. Uh, this grammar okay now only part is remaining is i have given the string a b c d in my question so a b handles y x c d handled by y so start should make sure that first x a should be taking place and then y should be taking place to do that how do i write so i'm just writing finally to make sure that the string with a b is followed by c d so that i'm writing the rule as a start symbol s will first go to x and then it will go to y so x will take care of all the string with ab and y will take care of all the strings with the cd so i'm done with my grammar i will just write down uh, after derivation i'll just write down this grammar properly uh, all together so now i can say i have written the grammar like this the final grammar in context free grammar is g is giving btps where v is all the variables or non terminal that is s x and y t is all the terminals that comes in my string r a b c d s is a start symbol is obviously s in my grammar and p is a set of production rules these are all the production rules that i have derived for the given grammar how many production rules do i have i have s giving x y is a first x giving a x b is a second x giving a b is a third fourth and fifth i have total five 
production rules in my grammar. So with this, we are done with the solution. Okay, now let's take a next question. It's quite similar, but uh, the little different way we can handle it. Construct a context-free grammar to accept the following language, where we have a raised to n, b raised to n, where n is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, now how do we go ahead with that? So I can say uh, the strings that are acceptable by this grammar can be uh, empty string because n can be zero. It can be if n is one, it is single a followed by single b. Double A followed by double B, triple A followed by triple B, and so on. So, how do I write the first? I will start with the start symbol. Okay. Now, I'll simply write down to accept the empty string with the start symbol S. Very first, I will have a production rule of type S giving epsilon. Okay. And now to accept the other strings which are having equal number of A's followed by B. So to access the strings with equal number of A's and B A's followed by B's, I can say S is giving equal number of A's followed by B's coming in repetition as many times it wants. So I can say is given by S. So um, can I say that this grammar is now sufficient and it's complete? Yes, because with this I can generate any number of strings let's just ex try example so here i'm trying to derive a string using leftmost derivation okay and uh, i'm writing my rules in numbers so now i'll just start with start symbol say for example s giving a s b i can say it is using production rule one okay in place of s, I'm substituting the value. I'm again putting s giving a as b. So again, I'm saying I'm using production rule 1. Now I can say s giving epsilon I want to use. So I'll say s giving epsilon. So I'll not write anything in place of epsilon. I'll say I use rule number 2. So here at the end, I got a string which is 2 number of ways followed by 2 number of ways. So this grammar is actually sufficient and is giving you answer the desired answer okay so uh, i hope you understood how we got this grammar yeah now let's take a next example now let's take the next example construct a context-free grammar to accept the following language okay l is equal to w c w r where w is equal to a plus b star plus b plus a star means w can be any string taken from a b a b a b a b or b a b a b a b and w r is nothing but a reverse of w in between them we should have a symbol c okay so let me write down the solution for that. so we can say the language acceptable by this grammar can be uh, w can be um, epsilon as well yeah and that's why a minimum possible string that is possible is c then if i take w as a b then i get a string like a b and then reverse of that is b a if i take w as a b and again i'm taking a b so the reverse of that is b a b a if i'm taking w as b a first and then a b then then the reverse of this string is b a a b like that i can have any languages coming in the any strings coming in this language now let us try to derive this grammar now to accept only c as a string i should be going from capital s q's to c that means I am getting a symbol C directly from the start state. Now next to access the strings having W as AB. So here your W is if I am taking it as a AB then I have to consider WR will be BA in that case. Okay. So if AB and then BA uh, so it is actually making a palindrome. So I have to consider this case as well that it should look like a palindrome. So how do I write this grammar now? So I can see as giving A B which is a W and then B A which is a W R and this can be repeated as many times as I want because it is in closure and whenever something is in closure we put the same starting symbol in the between yeah so as is coming in the between and considering them as a palindrome yeah exactly the same we will do for the reverse. 
So now if I am considering to, to accept the strings having W as BA. So here W is acting as a BA that means WR will be AB. Right? So how do I write this uh, particular production? I'll say S giving W as BA and WR as AB and though it can repeat many times as in closure, I'll put the S in between. Okay, so with this, I can say my grammar is complete. So my grammar has altogether three production rules. As giving C, as giving AB as BA, as giving BA as AB. So hope you have understood this particular thing. And if you have any queries regarding this type of a grammar, please ask me in the comment box below. Thank you for watching. Good day.